Oh, okay. So we have a we have the the student problem. So pulling on the rope. So we have a rope of a negligible mass that passes over a pulley of a of negligible mass attached to the ceiling as shown above. Or down, down here. So one end of the rope is held by student A of mass 70 kilograms who is at rest on the floor. And the opposite end of the rope is held by student B of mass 60 kilograms who is suspended at rest above the floor. So so they aren't like accelerating or, or anything. So no forces. So their net force is zero, basically. Okay. All right. So... Let's, let's look at B. So calculate the magnitude of the force exerted by the floor on student A. So what it's, what it's asking is, uh, what, is, what, is the force, what is the force here? What is the force here, right here? So like, what is a normal force? Well, how do you calculate normal force? Well, let, let's, look at, let's look at student A. So student A's free body diagram. So student A has uh, the weight. Now, how do we calculate weight? Weight is mass times gravity okay well what is what is mass of student a well well it's 70 to 70 kilograms but you sh don't forget about this this student b right here who is who who has a mass of 60 kilograms so student b is pulling on student a with 60 kilograms of mass so 70 so so student a would would experience 60 kilograms la less mass so student a would be 10 kilograms of mass yeah it makes intuitive sense that that he's 10 so gravity is just 9.8 so so the weight so the weight is base is, is just 9 98 newtons we don't even need a calculator for that and normal force is equal to weight because because right now it's not moving so this is normal force so because he they're stationary so this is equal to normal force normal force normal force normal force so that that's what it's asking so that's the that's the answer for b okay let's look at uh let's look at the second one so student b okay let me bring this diagram down with us so we can refer it back to it okay so now we have a student B now climb so this guy this guy right here is climbing up the rope at a constant acceleration of of uh, 0.25 with respect to to the floor with respect to the floor okay so cal it says calculate the tension in the rope while B while student B is accelerating <coughs> sorry okay all right. Well, if he's going up, he's pulling the rope downward with two point point two five times sixty kilograms. So, so, so basically, um, and also, since student A is sitting sitting still, he's not he's not a uh, he's not pulling down the rope. It's just station. Well, the road, the rope is pulling on him. So student B is pulling on him. Well, I guess I guess he would put he would he would be pulling down the rope too. But but um but anyway. So student B here is so so student, if if the student B is moving upward at point two five, um, the force. So the so the net force would be would be uh, 60 60 because 60 times 9.8 plus 0.25 plus 0.25 because he's pulling it down so it has to be greater than 9.25 so that's so, so just plus 0.25 uh, so 60 so 60, 60 times 9.8 plus 0.25. All right. So that that is a that is that is the answer. So 603 newtons. That's that's the tension in the rope while student B is climbing up. Okay. Now it says 
and, and for E, it says, what is the minimum acceleration? What is the minimum acceleration must student B climb up the rope to lift student A upward off the floor? Um, in other, um, in other language, what what is what is the how how fast does student B have to accelerate upward in order to match the weight of student A? So what is the weight of student A? Well, it's well the weight of student A without without the uh, influence of student B. If if he was all by himself, it would be it would be seventy seventy times seventy times nine point eight. 70 times 9.8, which is equal to 70 times 9.8, 9.8, which is equal to 686, so 686. And I got this because when you look at here, weight, if, this is, this is student A, by the way, this is student A, so, so this, the downward force is weight, and weight is equal to mass times gravity, and weight is the same thing as force in this context. So that's so weight so that's how I got six eighty six as as his weight. So six eighty six newtons. And now student B has to match that with his his acceleration and and uh his mass. So six eighty six let, let me use the same color for student B. So six eighty six is equal to his his is sixty. Now his acceleration. Well, don't we we can't forget to we can't forget we can't forget gravity. So nine point eight, that's the gravity. Plus his acceleration that he has to do, which which I will denote by a. So now we if we solve for a, we get we get uh, and uh, assuming how you, you know how to do algebra, um, six eighty six divided by sixty. You divide each side by 60, and then you subtract 9.8 from each side. So, so acceleration would be 1.63 meters per second squared. And here's the answer for E. And I think everyone has the same answer for this one, this web assigned problem. So I think that's the answer for everybody. This one and this one. Yeah. Okay, well, I I hope I hope I enlightened you in in the world of physics at least a little bit. Um, so I hope you don't get bored too much. All right.